It looks like the invaders have their backs against the wall. Ukrainian counterattacks are driving Russian forces back from the key city of Kharkiv and pushing them closer and closer to their own border. Kharkiv is Ukraine's second largest city right near Russia. The Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, says his troops continue to recapture villages near Kharkiv. The Ukrainians say this is video of them blowing up Russia's most advanced, latest generation tank. Sadly, this is what those liberated villages look like. Drone video shows the sheer destruction left behind by heavy fighting. Here, a crying Ukrainian woman kneels down and kisses the ground after returning home to her destroyed village. And for the first time, a Russian soldier is now set to stand trial for alleged war crimes in Ukraine. NBC's Cal Perry reporting live from the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. Cal? Chef, the announcement from the Office of the Prosecutor here in Ukraine of a war crimes tribunal is really a nation trying to come to terms with what happened during that initial invasion. This young sergeant, we understand, was part of an armored column. When, according to prosecutors, the Ukrainian military broke through that column, it split up. He ran to a village where he was ordered to shoot a civilian who was on a cell phone. Apparently, his commanding officer was worried that civilian was going to give away their location. We spent the day with a unit that is looking for the bodies of dead Russian soldiers. Again, an attempt to understand who was sent here, how they were sent here, and the reasons that they came here. Here is that young soldier being dug up and the location where some 200 soldiers are being kept, according to the Ukrainian government chef. Russia doesn't even want the bodies of these soldiers back. And to Rome very quickly, where the wives of some of those soldiers hold up in that plant in Mariupol, met with the pope today, asking him to broker a deal as the fighting there continues. Hundreds of wounded soldiers in the basement of that steel plant as it enters now two months of fierce fighting.